Maraca, that's the Maraca song. See? From our sixth grade. Ah. Arriba! <laughs> Good day, and welcome to another edition of the Weekly Update. I am Cal Skosma. This past September, wildfires leveled a significant portion of a small town of, of Bastrop in Texas. Over 2,000 families lost their homes and businesses. One of those families is related to the school PE teacher, Ms. Blackwood. Her brother lost his home in the, and business and struggled to rebuild it after the de these devastating fires. Monday, students will have a chance to help the folks in the Texas community rebuild by working and raising relief funds in the Bastrop or Bus School Run and Walk. Ms. Blackwood has more. Last year, we ran across Ethiopia in order to raise money to help schools build schools in Ethiopia. This year, Mrs. Michelle, since last year was so successful, that it was successful for the teachers, it was wonderful for our Catholic identity in order to help other people and it reached out to some of the IB goals that we thought, Ms. and Michelle thought that perhaps we should do one national goal mm. and one international goal. And our national goal, when the fires, the wildfires went through Bastrop and destroyed a majority of that town, we thought that would be a great place to help raise funds in order to help the families in that community, particularly as they prepare for Christmas and, and the holidays. The Ascension Catholic Church there in Bastrop and their Ladies of Charity reach out or have been reaching out to many of the different families in their parishes and in the children in the local school in order to help give them what they need to begin rebuilding. Do you want a quick jump start on that merry holiday feeling? Well, volunteers are needed this year to help out with the school's annual Christmas tree sales. Help each other on the school grounds. Please contact Dave Murphy at 745-2938. If you can help out this year, you can also go onto the school's website and sign up electronically. Tree sales begin just one week from today. We leave, we leave you this week on this unique story that could only be told from a perspective of a middle school teacher. Religion teacher Mr. Foster had a special surprise waiting for him for his homeroom after they could just could not remember to shut their lockers each day. Well, my seventh graders, great kids, decided that at some point um, they were going to open up all of these lockers in my homeroom. And this happened, I think, after I had made a sign reminding them, shut your lockers. <laughs> They left school with every locker opened, even the ones that weren't theirs, my supply locker and everything like that. Looking at it, they asked me, Mr. Foster, will we get written up, you know? And I told them, no, absolutely not, this is funny. Them not really realizing that the reason was that I had something special in mind. Um, I left school, went over to the pig really quick, 300 square feet of saran wrap later, came in, got a couple students to help me, and ended up saran wrapping all of their lockers.